Hey everybody, today you're gonna get a free Lightroom preset and I'm gonna show you how to create it yourself. This is based on James Giometta's tutorial about urban nighttime landscape photography. So if you're taking pictures of buildings at night, traffic, skyscrapers, things like that with a lot of dark backgrounds, this is gonna make your photos pop. It's amazing. So I'm gonna leave the link below to his channel because he's a great photographer and you should check him out. Super young guy, 19 years old, I think, out of New York City. And I found a lot of value in what he had to offer, so I'm sure you'll like to check out his channel as well. And I'm gonna show you how to create this preset, save it so you can use it on other photos. And I'm gonna give you the preset in the link below. Let's go. All right, everybody, I'm gonna do my best to talk to the camera and to make the Lightroom adjustments as we go. So when you first start, you're gonna take your photo and you're gonna adjust the color temperature. So you want this to be cooler, to add more blues, and then later you're gonna desaturate uh, that. So don't worry about that. Now you're gonna take the temperature down to 2850 or 2851, and then you're gonna to touch the tint and bring that down to negative 26. On the exposure, you're gonna bump this up to 0.52, and then you're gonna take the contrast to around 60. And what I've seen in um, James Giometta's approach is, even though the steps seem mysterious, the product is amazing. Now, just remember, this is not for everyone, and this is not for every photo. So this is for urban, nighttime, cityscapes, or landscapes. So you're gonna, you're gonna watch that this photo gets a lot of punch. Uh, and some of it's from the contrast. So we're gonna lower the highlights all the way down to negative 100 to cool the lights. But this also has the effect of taking, if you had a long exposure and the light is kind of bleeding around into the areas, this helps narrow that point or that line where the light is coming from. And then you're gonna increase the shadows to 100 to reveal all the, the hidden details uh, from that cityscape. You're gonna bump the whites up to 29. Uh, more or less and then around uh, the blacks you're gonna bring to around plus 24 So this image should just look Trashy it should look uh, green it should look kind of uh, rotten <laughs> and gross So but just hang in there. All right next thing We're gonna do is we're gonna take our clarity and we're gonna bump up the clarity to 15 This has the effect of adding more light back into the photo and then we're gonna touch the vibrance and we're gonna make that 0.41 and now you'll see on the saturation we're going to dip it down to about negative 14 and start to desaturate the photo just a little bit all right and the tone curve now when we get to the tone curve we're going to make some some pretty subtle adjustments so the anchor point at the far left you're going to want to be at 2.8 and 7.4 percent and then you're going to introduce the next point at 19.6 and 18%. And then your third point on the tone curve, so this is very, um, it's not your typical S curve. Uh, the next point is 49.4% at 46.7% or thereabout. You can play with it, but I would suggest trying these like I followed James Giametta's tutorial and I thought it worked great. So that brings us to the hue, saturation, and luminance uh, controls. And I rarely ever touch these, and so it was uh, educational to see what could be done with these. So diving in with the hue, you're gonna leave the red at zero. The orange, you're gonna put at plus 10. And then the yellow, green, and aqua, you're gonna take those all the way down to negative 100. And then the blue, purple, and magenta will just stay at zero. Moving on to saturation. You're gonna boost the reds to plus 31. The oranges, you're gonna move to plus 71, or about, and yellows about plus 75. The greens, you're gonna take them all the way down to negative 100. And the aquas, purples, blues, and magentas, put all of those at negative 75. And then we'll move on to luminance. And just hang in there, we're almost done. We're really getting close. On your luminance controls, take the red up to 24, the orange to 65, yellow to 63-ish, and then the green and aqua, we're gonna leave at zero, blues up to 36, and then purple and magenta, we'll just leave them at zero. Then we're gonna use the highlight and shadows control, which I admit I had never touched before I saw James's tutorial. You're gonna take the highlights, and you're gonna go to 22 for the color, 
and 9% for the saturation. And then the shadows, you're gonna go to 217 for the color and 9% saturation to add a little bit more blue and cool the shadows. And that's how you create the effect for the urban cityscapes at night. Which I just think is very punchy. It's very orange and gray or charcoal or black. Uh, you might get a lot of light pollution in the sky. Um, so you might go through with a brush and adjust that by darkening the exposure of the sky. That's one tip that he had. Next, we're gonna show you how to save that preset. So all you need is a photo with those adjustments made to it. And then you're gonna go into your Lightroom uh, develop module. So make sure you're looking at the develop module and go to the preset section on the left and you're gonna scroll to the top and make sure that you see the plus button. You're gonna click that plus button, then you're gonna give the preset a name and you can choose a folder to put it in and you can also choose, do you want all the adjustments that were um, made to that photo and you can check or uncheck. So in this case, I want all the adjustments that I created on that photo to be a part of my preset that I'm gonna give to you. And you click create and then you'll see it listed under your presets. And so you can go through like I'm gonna go right now and you can literally click uh, or select a new photo. In the develop module, you'll have access to the preset and you can just introduce it and check it out and see if you like the effect. Now, if it is an urban city landscape shot, nine times out of 10, it makes the photo pop in a very unusual, special way. So thanks. Thanks, James. Great tip, great tutorial. The link to the preset is below. Until next time, click the subscribe button, click the bell to get instant notifications. And let me tell you, I just really enjoyed learning this this week and sharing it with you. So um, stay tuned for more.